Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I am so excited to bring you along and show you my 30 Bath & Body Works candles that I refuse to burn. Some of them are because of the scent, some are because of the packaging, and some are because of both. So let's go ahead and get started, get a drink, and let's get into it. The first one is this Welcome Home. This scent is not new. I think the scent is actually out this year, but this packaging was absolutely beautiful and I just can't burn it because it's just so aesthetically pleasing. And it has this very neutral matte lid and I just think that's so beautiful that I just can't burn it. So the scent notes are cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds and brown sugar. It just smells like you're baking like bread and cookies inside of a home and it's the best smell in the world, which I am going to get this. I think I do have Welcome Home in another packaging that I will burn, but this one, I'm never going to burn it. So there you go. That's number one. Number two is along those same lines, French Baguette. The packaging isn't the most beautiful packaging in the world. It does have a pretty like neutral gold matte lid. It just says, originally launched in 2012, enjoy a bath, bed, bath and beyond. I almost said bed, bath and beyond. Bath and Body Works favorite blend of slow rising dough, crispy crust, and a fresh out of the oven aroma with essential oils. So that's the back. It just pretty much tells a story. And it smells like French bread. It, it just smells like I just went and got a French baguette. And that is so cool. And until they bring it out again, I'm not burning this. So this is part of the 30. Next came out this year, which I'm super excited about. It's Spooky Side Your Lane. It's mostly because of this lid, because hello, this lid is so cool. It has a skeleton on it. I saw people use it as a coaster. I think um, Love, comma, Amber used it as a coaster, and I just thought that was a cool idea. But it has a... It has a black wax. It is bone chilling bourbon, glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla with natural essential oils. It smells so good. I have Cider Lane. I have tons of different versions, but this shall never be burned for display purposes only. Next is the beloved Land of Sweets. Bath and Body Works. We've been talking about Land of Sweets since Land of Sweets, so just bring it back for us. This is Sugared Snickerdoodle, which is also not a new scent, but this packaging is the land of sweets, and I just can't say no to it, so it's not getting burned. These scent notes are Warm Spices, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. The scent almost isn't as strong as it used to be, which is kind of odd, but that's okay. But I just think the packaging is so cute. It's Santa's Workshop. The lid is beautiful, and bring it back. Bring back the land of sweets. Hello, we've been telling you for years. Okay, everything I want them here, I want them to bring back, so I have to stop saying that because that's what the whole video will be. This is Blue Bungalow, and while I think it's pretty and the packaging is pretty, it just matched really well with my bathroom, and I haven't found, found one that matched better, so this goes in my blue bathroom, and I think it's super pretty. The scent notes are Swaying Palms, Salty Breezes, Golden Rattan Cane, and Sweet Grapefruit. It's kind of yellowed a little bit, like wax, but it still smells divine. It smells like a fancy hotel on the beach. Maybe like JW Marriott on Marco Island. It has that like rich, rich like vibe, but like with beachy smells. And then it has like a pretty bamboo-ish looking lid. So I will never burn that. Next is this one. I hope they bring it back. This is, the packaging's pretty, but this one, I really hope they bring back the scent. Rose Water Meringue. And the scent notes on this one are fresh rose water, spun pink sugar, and creamy vanilla bean. Why they don't make this into a, like a body mist, or like a whole collection, I don't know, because it smells amazing. It's rose, anything with, <laughs> anything that's mixed with vanilla, like that's, a, that's any floral mixed with like a vanilla or creamy to me is so divine and it's so beautiful that they should carry this, bring this back out. It just smells so good. It has like the rose, but like a sugary rose with the creamy vanilla and it's just amazing. 
Packaging is pretty. I'm not gonna tell you it's not pretty. I really think it's beautiful, but it's not why I'm keeping this unburned. It's because I just wanna smell it because I don't have another to smell. Next is, I have two of these, so I can actually burn one. This is You Had Me at Aloha, and it's just so pretty. So cute for summer to decorate with. And it is pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. It's very florally, juicy. What's that like juicy? Oh, white petals. That's what it is. It smells like berries and floral. It almost smells like you're in like a floral garden and there's also fruit being like fruit around it. I hope that makes sense. It smells so good. But this one's so refreshing, so light, so good. And I, I love the packaging, so that's why I'm keeping it. This one, the packaging to me isn't that good. So if they come out with another one, I will use this one. It is cookies and cream milkshake. It just smells so good. This is when it was $24.50. Remember those days? Uh, it just really smells like anything that smells authentic, like the item that they're sh that they're like putting on the candle, it's like a keeper for me. So I love that part. This is uh, chocolate cookie crumbs, vanilla bean ice cream, and chocolate drizzle. This is it right here. So cute. Next, along those same lines of rosewater meringue from the same collection is lavender marshmallow. And this is the packaging. It's like the macarons, macaroons, whatever you call them with lavender. Scent notes are fluffy marshmallow, a touch of lavender and fresh vanilla bean. And it's that same like creamy vanilla with the lavender. It, it just mixes so well together. And they, Bath and Body Works does a great job at it. So like, please Bath and Body Works continue to do that great job at it. Uh, so good. This is just like you had me at Aloha, the same thing. Um, this one's mermaid hair, don't care. And I just think it's so cute. If you display both of these like together during the summer, it's just adorable. This is coastal wave, sparkling bergamot and sun drenched musk. It smells like the beach in the best way. And it's the sun drenched musk is not, um, it's not like too linen of a smell. So it doesn't overtake the like oceany vibe of it. You know, like sun-drenched linen, any kind, most linens, once you get into that, like, this, I guess it's sun-drenched musk, but once you get into that, like, musky, linen-y kind of smell, it overtakes it, but this is, like, mostly the ocean smell. It's just so good, so clean, and I love that one so much. Next one I refuse to burn is called Haunted Nights. This is from last year, um, and this one is Scary Clary Sage, Moonlight Mahogany, and Visiting Verbena. And this one's not the best scent. It kind of smells like laundry detergent a little bit, but look at this packaging. This is one for the packaging, not for the scent. Look at that. Is that not so cool? It reminds me of the Haunted Mansion at Disney and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much and I don't wanna get rid of it. So I display this for Halloween and the lid is also amazing. So display purposes only one. Next is Summer Terrace and this is came um, same line as the uh, Blue Bungalow. How pretty is this? This is Fresh water mint, crisp pear, citrus, and warm musk. It smells so good. This is both pack. This one's both. This one's, I love the packaging, and the smell is so good. It smells kind of like straw, like almost bamboo, but it has like a musk to it, almost like a lemony. I guess that's the pear. And then like fresh cut grass. It's like you're like beachside in a hammock. That's that's what comes to my mind when I'm like dr thinking, drinking this, thinking of this. So good. Love that one so much. Okay, next is 100% packaging, but I like the smell too. But this is Coconut Cabana. Hello, do you not see this beautiful green lid mixed with the like pale pink and then the leaves? It's just so pretty. 
I display this in the summer too. And this one is coconut cream, vanilla sandalwood, and a hint of pineapple. And as you can see, I went to burn it once and then I got cold feet and I stopped like immediately. So I don't even think it pulled out. In fact, it made just that bubble right there, those bubbles. And then I was like, wait, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I love the green wax. At one point I was like, I'm getting rid of all of my candles. I don't care. I can't have this hoarding in my house anymore. And so I was like, I'm going to burn all the candles, even the ones that I think that I want to keep and not burn and then I chickened out and I couldn't do it and here we are. Hundreds of candles later, we're still here. Uh, next is a Fiji white sand and for the same reason for the packaging, those flamingos, this pink lid is absolutely adorable. Fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine and sandalwood, pink wax. I just smell like sugar cane and fruity but it's white nectarine, but I just smell sugar cane and fruit, but it's very light, very good, very like summer, summer-esque. I love this one. I like am getting the feeling that the, the past is behind us, but we're never getting it back. Like some of these packages are so good and I feel like Bath and Body Works does not do this anymore. Is it just me or is it like, Everything now is just a front-facing sticker that they slap on a clear glass and call it a day. Just my opinion. Next is a really good one. This is the same line as Lavender Marshmallow and the Rose Water Meringue. And this one is Chocolate Marshmallow Cloud. And this one is Whipped Chocolate Marshmallow Fluff and a Pinch of Salt. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It's just so good, and I think it falls out. <laughs> it definitely falls out, you guys. Like, whole falls out, but I love it so much. It the, Something with the pinch of salt makes the chocolate, and I've heard this before, something about the pinch of salt makes the chocolate, like, a chocolate wonderfall. <laughs> like, it makes it, like, so strong and so prominent. And then you have like the marshmallow in the background. It's just an amazing smell and Bath and Body Works needs to bring it back. That's it. Next is the Perfect Autumn. And you will see it's a black mat with a sticker on it, but it is so pretty. People would think maybe it's too plain because it's all black and white, but I think it's so aesthetically pleasing and would look so cute. I display this usually like on my Thanksgiving dinner table with the foliage around it and I just tell everybody not to burn it. But it's a perfect autumn scent. A lot of people know this scent. Creamy white wax and it is fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, and rich clove. The perfect autumn and the perfect Christmas are the two that I usually burn on on Thanksgiving and then the perfect Christmas on Christmas. Okay, next one, I love this one. It is Lavender Sea. And look at this packaging, it is so pretty. It has like waves on the top, but is that packaging not beautiful? I hate my ring light. Um, okay, this is Soft Lavender Waves Vanilla Sea Foam and Coconut Water. So they took lavender and they took vanilla and they put it together. And even though the lavender marshmallow you would think should smell like this because they both have very similar scent notes, this mixed with the coconut water makes it very like oceany but creamy oceany. It has like an ocean scent. You smell the lavender but then you get that creamy vanilla in the background. It's so good. This is both for the packaging and for the scent. And when I mean the scent, it means like I will eventually have to burn it years from now, but hopefully they come out with another packaging that I don't like as much. Or I just sometimes will go, there's a couple like the French baguette that I just like will go buy my candle thing display and just smell it every once in a while. And it makes me happy. So that's what I do. Uh, the next is for the packaging because I just think it's so cute. The Spring Day Lily. I just think it's so vibrant, so pretty. It is Blooming Daylily, Bergamot Zest, and Warm Spring Sunshine. And it just makes you happy. This packaging just makes you so happy. 
I'm putting like spring and then it says boo to you with bats. <laughs> so it's kind of weird holding this. It just smells so fresh, so spring. Like the first flowers have sprung up everywhere and you're sitting in a meadow. It, that's just what it smells like. It's amazing. Love that one. But the packaging is where it's at. That's why I can't get rid of this. Okay, hold tight. I have to bring all of this down to bring up the next set. So I will be right okay, back. I'm back. If you stuck with me for this long, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. I tried to honest to goodness to narrow it down and I, I mean, I can't. It's just the ones that I can't burn. So it is what it is. But let's get started with the second half. This first one is peppermint marshmallow. I do have peppermint sugar cookie, but it's not the same. It smells very different. It's not even the same as twisted peppermint, which I know would sound weird because it has similar scent notes, but it's different, I promise you. Crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. You, you get the peppermint marshmallow, but you get the powdered sugar, and it smells like, almost like peppermint bark. Like, it's almost like... A bakery is is baking like peppermint bark, but then you also have like marshmallow in the background. It's so good. I could smell this all day. And this is the reason why I can't burn it because if I burn it, I'm only gonna get that smell for however long it lasts and then it's gone. Oh, so good. This is so good. Bring it back, Bath & Body Works. This next one is one that the packaging isn't the best, but the smell is so authentic so good and that is vanilla cola candy the smell is so spot on you even get like the fizzy smell of it the, it's really not that pretty but it is so cool sorry for my dog scent notes are fizzy soda crystals sparkling sugar cane and creamy vanilla it genuinely smells like coca-cola it's so strange how do they do it it's so good it almost has like, I guess it's the sparkling sugar cane and the creamy vanilla, but it almost has like a vanilla Coke kind of smell. But you get that like fizzy smell. So cool. So cool. Some of these candles, like when I went through this and picked them up, I just got so excited all over again because I'm like, they're so cool. This one's purely for the iridescent packaging. I do love Palo Santo. Um, It's not too smoky for me. I just love it. But the iridescence like wrap around to me was so pretty. I also have Midnight or Orchid um, in this iridescent too, but I, I feel like I could burn that, but this with this like light, light pink right here just was so pretty, I just can't burn it. Um, this is Palo Santo Wood, Warm Amber, Amber and Soft Musk. It's like that smoky, sultry, like you're in a cigar bar. So good, but um. There was, I think I just smelt it, smoked vanilla woods. I put it on my Instagram and I smelled it yesterday and I love Palo Santo, but that smoked vanilla, whatever it was, was even too strong for my nose. I was like, this is, this is straight smoke and not in a good way. Um, this next one is so cool. Pumpkin spice latte. I usually display this every year. Um, I didn't do a Buffalo check theme this year, but maybe next year. I try to like skip out what I'm going to do. Like I don't bring out every autumn candle that I'm saving. So it kind of feels like new again. Um, this one is fresh espresso, pumpkin pie spice, whipped cream, and sprinkles of cinnamon sugar. Smells not great. Smells like pumpkin with espresso, but they didn't do a great job on it. If I'm being honest, it wouldn't like, I wouldn't mind burning this if it was just for the scent, but the aesthetic of it the packaging is so good that this will never be burned this is one that will never be burned because even if they recreate the smell i'm still gonna like this packaging the best i already know not the best scent best packaging who can say no to that packaging oh it's so cute okay land of sweets and this one is land of sweets blueberry sugar Oh my goodness, it's so good. Bring it back, bring it back. Oh, look how cute. Like the strawberry, the cherry with the cupcake. Oh my goodness. And then the top is like snow. Look at that lid, so cute. Blue blue wax for blueberry sugar. 
It smells like blueberry sugar. I really like the scent, but it's honestly not as much the scent as it is the packaging. It's just so cute. And this is sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker crust, which I get blueberry and sugar, but I don't get anything about a graham cracker. No, nothing about a graham cracker. This next one is, I have two and I will burn one, but for the this one, I'm gonna keep forever because I just find it so funny. I don't know if the person who approves the graphics, either he or she called out sick, he or she was on vacation, something fell through the cracks, something got skipped, but the Bahama Fizz got approved. I don't know how, but it got approved. It's a running joke. All us Bath & Body Works fans think this is hilarious and I'll keep it forever just because everybody thought it was so funny and everybody saw the same thing. So if you don't see it, good for you. But if you see it, you know why they called out that day. Anyway, it's fresh kiwi slices, island pineapple, coconut water, and a splash of rum. Does smell great. Very fruity, fruity tropical drink on the beach. Light blue wax, but... Packaging is purely why I am keeping this one and never burning it. Next is Ghoul Friend, and I loved the black against the bright pink. The shiny black against the bright pink just, and it, you can't really, can you see it? It's like the pink is iridescent -y. with the bats. They nailed it on this one. They did such an amazing job. This Halloween collection was so good, but this packaging, they had Midnight Boo Citrus, which I do have, um, I have burned some of that. Um, that one is green like this, but something about this bright pink against the black popping out was just so good with the bright pink wax. Ghoul Friend is not new. It's kind of like a strawberry perfumey kind of scent. Dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. That peony makes it kind of like a perfumey floral strawberry. Very feminine scent. So good, but the reason why I'm keeping this is because of the packaging, let's be honest. Okay, and I do this one. This one is for packaging and because I just think it's so cool and I want them to bring it back, unicorn sprinkles. This one went with the chocolate marshmallow one. And this is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops and sugared lemon. White wax. Very cotton candy, sugar, fluffy, lemon, but the packaging I just thought was so cool and I just can't bring myself to burn it. Can't do it, there's no way. Um, next one is, I just love the packaging. I love the scent too, so I hope they bring it back, but I just thought this was so cool that they made it velvety and my husband loves Moscow Mules, so I just can't get, I just can't get rid of this. And the green actually looks so pretty during Christmas that I just couldn't say no. Has a black uh, lid, sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. Somehow, just with the sweet lime, sh lemon zest, and sugar cane, you still get the fizzy sparkling of the Moscow Mule, like the ginger beer smell. It's pretty spot on, and it smells amazing. And I can't stop smelling it. So it smells amazing, and the packaging is so cool. I couldn't say no to this one. Next is this one. I love this. I have marshmallow fireside in every packaging you could imagine. But every year when I pull out my um, packaging for the next year, I just can't bring myself to burn this one. The bear in the bear in the sweater is just so cute. The snow capped trees, the little trees that are far away that are snowed. I just think it's so cute. The plaid background. I just can't I just can't bring myself to burn it. So yes, I love the scent and I love the packaging. Um, toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. One of the top, I'm gonna go with top five to me, holiday scents, and that includes every holiday. One of, my, that includes Easter, that includes Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas. One of the top five scents for all those holidays to me is Marshmallow Fireside. It just does it every time. It smells just so good. It has that sweet marshmallow, marshmallow, did I just invent a word? Marshmallow-y, marshmallow scent with that little bit of smoke and it just is so warm and cozy and 
every time you come into my house and this is burning, it just feels like a hug. And I just love it so much. And then we're down to the last two, 29 and 30. These are not for packaging, which I do like the packaging, but these are my two favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has ever done. And neither one of them have I seen. And what I'm nervous about, because I only am down to five, but let's get the one that I have 10 of. And it is the Spiced Vanilla Cupcake. I do think that Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla is similar, but it's different enough to where I like this one better. And I think that they need to bring it back. So Bath & Body Works, Spiced Vanilla Cupcake. Bring it to us, thank you. Spiced Vanilla Frosting, Fluffy Angel Food Cupcake, and Cinnamon Sugar. Oh, it just has that like cinnamony cupcake. Oh, it just is so good. It smells like a bakery. It's so strong. It'll smell up your whole house. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Anybody who smells this will love it. I just can't get enough of this candle and please bring it back. Please, please bring it back. So I'm not like spending $40 on each one on Macari or Poshmark or whatever. This last one, I have five left. I think two or three of them are messed up. And so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can burn any more left because I only have five, but it is my beloved, my number one candle ever burned at Bath & Body Works. Sweet Rosemary Vanilla is my favorite candle Bath & Body Works has ever done there. I said it, hold me to it. It is fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake and whipped frosting. It just has the most unique smell. The rosemary with the vanilla with the cupcake is just so good. It smells up your whole house. It is such a different scent that I think that people will like, people like walk in your house and automatically go, what's that? It's that kind of a scent. But this is how some of them came. It, as you can see, I they gave me a lot, y'all. They did not skimp on the wax on this one. They filled it all the way up to the top. And when they did that, they left me without some wicks. So this is one I could burn on a warmer, honestly, but I just only have five, so I don't know what to do. But the packaging to me is cute, but it's not the best thing in the world, but the scent is my favorite candle, not even Bath & Body Works, my favorite candle I've ever smelled in my entire life. And that rounds out my 30 candles that I cannot burn. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.